my name is Cordelia Spencer. I'm a historic interpreter here at Prickett's Fort, specializing um, to a degree with hearth cooking. Um, every Tuesday we do hearth cooking here. Today we've got a, the makings of a stew going on. It's a venison stew. Venison was one of the main, main uh, uh, meats that they would have had out here. And uh, we're getting ready to do some, uh, some flapjacks on the griddle. Uh, we just basically did cooking as they would have done in the 18th century. Uh, this afternoon we'll be using the Dutch oven to make probably a, um, an apple pie. Um, they would have had a few apples out here, especially in the later part of the Fort Toms. So we're going to be making an apple pie in the Dutch oven. I cook here every Tuesday. The Fort's open seven days a week, but I'm here on Tuesdays. Um, we've kind of picked Tuesdays as my day to cook. So I'm here every, every Tuesday cooking. We've been pretty busy on Tuesdays. We've had a, a pretty good crowd. Um, starting to get some interest in hearth cooking and, and the differences in how they cook then as, as opposed to how we cook now and even the similarities of what we do uh, that's still quite similar to what we were doing what we're doing now it's just you know it's history uh, there's to paraphrase the phrase um, if we don't learn from history we're destined to repeat it uh, this is part of our past this is how we evolved um, to where we are now. Um, some of the things like the Dutch oven is the same principle as the ovens that we're using now. But history is important to know where we came from. And so we can kind of see where we're going with, with uh, by, by studying history. More violent, more bloody in the spring. We spent all winter telling each other what they were going to do. Wow, yeah, how, to how tough those. they were, how, how much they, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Um, I've heard of parched corn. Mm -hmm. Is it a different variety? I'm not sure. Um, that's one of the things that uh, the the this you wouldn't want to use this as parched corn because that because hominy this still has to go through the lye water. You make the cloth. Now the process from plant the cloth about 18 months. Yeah. It's very labor intensive. Very labor intensive. They didn't have a lot of clothes. I used to tease the farmer, I can't do it anymore because he finally got rid of it. He had a shirt that he was patching his patches. 